have with us Mr. Swapnil Avarka from Hello. Edu360 Knowledge Solutions Private Limited. And uh, their product is called Sahi Labs. What they are trying to do is they are trying to use augmented reality for education. Swapnil, uh, would you talk about uh, the product uh, which you have conceptualized and uh, how, sure. how, is, how will this uh, product be useful for young students? Sure. Uh, we believe that AR has augmented reality, as we call it. Uh, it's a short form. Uh, AR is a short form of, of augmented reality, and we truly believe that AR has the, the potential to transform the education as we know of it. And uh, be, using that technology, we are create, creating immersive experiences for students to actually look what what goes inside a chemical reaction, or probably what goes goes inside a physics law, or probably let's say uh, there is a seed placed in front of you, and you want to see how the germination takes place, of, uh, takes place in the actual natural world. So we are using AR as, 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 as an underlying technology to help students to conceptualize, visualize as abstract concepts of, of science. Got to know that you have also been well funded, around 2.3 million from a Singapore-based yes. investor, investor yeah. Admiral Tan. So how are you going to use this investment? Uh, right now, we are we are we are a very small team, and uh, using this investment, we are going to increase, expand the team, and uh, then uh, using that team, we are going to build much more content, which we are going to uh, which we are going to release in first quarter of 2019. Um, so there are many things to be done. Uh, we'll go step by step. Uh, marketing is one of them. Development of the content is uh, we will focus on the development of the content at this stage of funding. On the content side, uh, you talked about physics, uh, chemistry, and biology-based yes. content that you plan to develop for the secondary level. Yes. So when do you think uh, all those concepts would be ready, and by what time frame? Uh, we are targeting a time frame of um, around um, second quarter of 2020. And till which class? Um, I would say um, uh, grade 12th till grade 12th. So grade from grade uh, six to twelfth, uh, and this is universal grades. I mean, uh, not for not not just India because science is universal. Uh, you are a startup. Uh, you are you are around one point five year old startup. Yeah. Uh, what were the startup challenges that you faced, and how do you see the India's startup program, uh, which was announced by Narendra Modi? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are many challenges. The first challenge I have faced is uh, to decide um, how to go about it. You know, uh, when you have the idea, uh, uh, the first thing is, okay, how to conceptualize that idea or how to make the product. Uh, the good thing is, uh, for me, uh, fortunately, I'm a very techy person. I mean, even though I didn't have any background, of, uh, background knowledge of coding, I learned it by myself. I'm a very dexterous person. I, I like, to think, like to do things with my hand. So I learned everything by myself. I started developing, and based on that de development, uh, we released the, the first prototype. And um, so the, the main challenge is to get um, people on board uh, of, a, of a startup. When you, uh, when, uh, when you say we are a startup, uh, and uh, this person who, who would like to join you, they say uh, whether he will have the money to, uh, in the future or not. So that is the first challenge. Uh, setting, setting up a company nowadays in India is pretty easy. There are many uh, agencies which will help you in setting up the company. But yeah, if you have the uh, right knowledge, and uh, yeah, the main challenge we f faced is getting a right mentor. Uh, if you have a right mentor, they will guide you in the proper direction. But fortunately, we have the mentors right now. So yeah, we are growing. So once you commercialize the product, mm. what would be your go-to-market strategy? Uh, right now, we have not decided. We are discussing with our investors and our mentors what exactly uh, the strategy should be. But yeah, it's in, it's in the pipeline. Any numbers? How big is this market of augmented reality for teachers? Uh, um, a study was conducted uh, of um, augmented reality, not for the, for the education sector, but as a whole. Uh, it has been projected that by 2022, it will be around, uh, around $220 billion. That's a very huge market. For education, there has not been a specific uh, um, a study, but uh, there has been a research conducted by many scientists all over the world that how AR is very important 
to transform education. Basically, it's a tool. Uh, we are not saying that AR will be the only uh, tool available. There will be tool, but AR will be uh, will uh, will play a major role in transforming education, as we know. Uh, thank you, Sapneel, for talking. Great. Thank you.